We used to use this herb to tell us the time when we come in from school. Hey guys, well, see here again from my alanjamaica.com. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doubly excited. Uh, not only am I doing a part two of our famous herb tour, I have bones with me in addition to Duppy. If you remember the market video that I did a couple years ago, you will remember Bones. Bones was the star of the show in that video. I have her. She knows bushes and she, along with Duppy, is going to tell us all about the wonderful medicinal herbs. We're going to show at least, we're going to capture at least 50 of them. Stay with me. Remember, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell notification. That way, you see updated on all my latest videos. This is original food. <laughs> all right, guys, that's good. Back to that. Yeah, if you get a cut and it now start bleeding, old time thing, it's good for the eye. You could soak it, use it to wash the eye, or use it as a white. What eye do you soak it with? Water. Okay. You can eat, and they have the little black seed, you can heat it. Oh, they like a dry, nutty kind of thing. Right, you can just eat it. It's okay. very sweet. Right, Basida, guys. <laughs> Otherwise, call Super End. Super End, all right. Very useful. Yeah. Very good for cracking. Oh. Dog tongue. Dog tongue. Ah, uh, Paki. Paki. Oh, we don't want to get any beaten. Mm -hmm. We used to plat them like this. Put it in a tree. Um, Plat it. And what with it? Put one stone over it. Um. And you make a wish. <laughs> for whatever you want. If you don't want your mother to beat you. <laughs> if you want she forget about what uh -huh. was the issue. Uh -huh. Just put a stone over it. Uh -huh. And cost two bad words. Yeah. <laughs> I said you make your wish. Very useful. <laughs> Some people use this to sweep the yard. Okay. But they have other use. To boil it and drink it. Is it here? If you have any sore or bad foot, can not get better? You rub it on it? You boil it and drink and it. And drink it? Yes. Oh, broom weed. Yes, broom weed. Cofoot. Oh. Oh. Cofoot good for bone, this. You can use it for headache. Headache? Mm -hmm. You wrap it around your head? Or you can tear the leaf. And put it on your forehead, so mm. it's like pressure. You know, okay. most time when people head pain them, mm -hmm. it's like the pressure is high or the pressure is low, mm -hmm. so on. So, so cow foot bush, cow foot, cow foot, cow foot. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So, oregano, guys, this is let me show you. So, this is it right here, right? This one, bonesy oregano. So, here we have star fruit, also known as jimbilin locally, and what's your name? Chinese plum, Chinese plum. <laughs> star Chinese plum. All right, so here's the spirit weed again. Now we know the name. It's fifth weed, spirit weed, uh, cheddar bunny, I think they call it in Trinidad. So bones have a perspective on it. What is it good for? You know it good for bones. Eh? For coal, uh -huh. and like mucus on a hole. And first time people use it if there's any spirit, like evil spirit around you. Yeah. When they come around you, then you start smelling yeah. the fragrance of the spirit weed. So it's determined that there's a evil spirit oh. around you so that's why they call it the spirit <laughs> weed okay okay right. cool. if you're having like hormone problem you could use a spanish needle and some red water grass mm. all right the so spanish needle guys yeah. file hops again <laughs> uh we have we have we have we have we have we have learned some stuff from the first video while up while hops jacana bush good for Lack of appetite. Mm -hmm. If you have coal and gas in the belly mm -hmm. and you don't want to eat anything, then you could have a cup of jacana tea and that will relieve you from your pain and issues that you have. Oh. It have more use otherwise. Okay, wonderful. Over here we also have the marigold. Marigold, all right. It's not blossoming now, then you've just seen. It kind of blossom yellow flowers. Mm. It's very good. Okay, what's that good? You use it for like Hormone problem, people having hormone problem with menstrual cramps not stopping, mm -hmm. then you could use this to stop the menstrual problem. Boiling Along with some cold, you have your baby at home mm -hmm. having a lot of 
stuffiness mm -hmm. you make a cup of tea with this mm -hmm. with some honey it's very useful nice nice and name again the marigold marigold cool, cool. Yeah. this is the guaco and guaco bitter it's a cleanser as well with purge your blood okay we spoke about that the last time guys the guaco here guaco bush the noni noni where, where this come from Oh, somebody brought it here. Okay, okay. No one, guys. Doppy bring it here. I'll Doppy bring it. No one. No one. We have no one here as well. Yeah, Doppy so what's up? That is your so what's up? Oh, see. So what is good for now, Doppy? It's good for. It's a tonic, man. Tonic, tonic. Yeah. Good, 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 good. All right, guys. No one juice. Powerful. Wild time again, guys. Wild time again. Uh, wild time, let's keep trying the good for And the same for him, mother, for him, for him, for him, for him, the wild time good for again, Duffy? Oh, baby, yes, put him yeah. in baby mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby mouth, when I'm a tea, yes, yes, nice, nice, nice. This is the guava again, guys. Fresher looking guava, natural antibiotic, guava leaf. All right. Wild hops, we captured, guys, wild hops, wild hops. Yeah. All right, now what's that for? Sugar, if you drink, make tea? Yeah. Okay. Is this make tea? Uh -huh. Good for any mucus. Mucus. And also using root tonic. Oh, root. You use it in tonic to okay. build the system. Clean okay. and build the body. Clean and build. All right. Good, right. good, good. Very useful. Okay. I will capture this already. What we call this again? Never die. Never die. Never die. Tea. Never die, guys. You are asthmatic. Yeah. Yeah. Asthmatic. Okay. You use that. Okay. And if you notice, at all times, wherever a uh, landmark is, they always tend to put this there. Oh, because they never die. Oh, they never it, die. They never <laughs> die. That's the other name for it. Okay, okay. It's also called Sylvan Sabush. Okay. Quick stick. Uh, quick stick. Okay. So, 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 so quick stick never die. Quick stick. Quick stick. Quick, quick, quick stick, stick never die. Quick, man. quick stick. Quick stick. Yeah. <laughs> never die. I don't want. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, all right. good, yeah, good. Which one you taking here, sir? Uh -huh. This one. It's the old man button. Which one? It's thing here. This one. It's this one? Yeah. That's Th this one with the button? Yeah, that's old man. Old man button. Yeah. It's, okay. It's good for belly ache as well. Okay, good, good, good. Old man button, guys. Yeah. All right, good. I see another one over here. The same thing here. Yeah. All right, old man button. Last summer. All right, good, good. Good, good, old man button. This is a bit we so afraid of man, it's scratched. No, it doesn't. It's not scratch? No. Yeah, Another it's one here. Scratch. It's scratched, but if you boil it, it doesn't scratch. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call it? Snake waste. Snake waste, you boil yeah. it and drink it and good yeah. for? Belly ache. Belly ache. Yeah. All right, cool. pain and, and cool. pain and cool. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Like you have score. Uh -huh. Like you have score. Uh -huh. Just stick it. And rub it on it? No, tie it on. Tie it on it? Yeah. All right, but we don't know the name of this one. But it's a flower. We grow it. Flower, yeah. People grow it like a flower. I know it's name for All right. Guys, all right, if you know this one, tell us the name. Drop this one. It's a flower, but it's good for wounds. 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 All right. Good, good, good. This is called Black Pinda. Black Pinda? Yeah. There are good three forward. different type of strong back. Oh, we use in root tonic to clean and build the body. So it's a, it's a, this it one is, is called black pinda. So it's black. It's, it's a, it is strong back, but it's a special kind of strong back named black yes. pinda. So yeah. It's three All different right. types. Okay, okay. But good. this is one type. By look, looking around, if yeah, I see any more, more, I try right. to educate you nice. about it. Right. But this is well, called black pinda. Black pinda. All right. So vervine again, vervine guys, cleanser, builder. Which one? All purpose. Yeah. Vervine. Vervine. Over here we can find the agwis. Mm -hmm. You know the agwis, when you pick it, it blossom mm -hmm. purple, I think. Mm -hmm. But when you pick it, you see some white stain draining from it. Like that. It has other use that people might just use it to tie a bag and so on. Mm -hmm. But if you have pressure, headache and so on, you just pull it like this. Mm -hmm. Get the leaves off and you tie it on your head. Mm -hmm. It's oh. just tight around your head. Put it in three. Uh -huh. Put it in three and tie the head. It relieves your pain. pressure, your pressure. pain. Okay. Immediately. What's the name of it again, Boone? This is called Hagwis. Hagwis. Or we call it Hagslip. Hagslip and Hagwis. Good, good. It's the same thing. Yeah, just different names, different things. Everywhere, pieces. every countryside calls their herb a different name. So Hagwis so. or Hag, Hagslip. 
Good, good, good. Hug with guys. Alright, so alright, so the that's the name of it again. We call it Waterman or Chinfish. Waterman Chinfish, alright. All right. That is the best material if you are using to make like bees, mm -hmm. bees hive where mm -hmm. you put the bees in the box, the bees box, mm -hmm. and so on. That's the best material to make the bees, a box. bees box. Okay. Right. And the name of the wood again? Chin, chin piece. Chin piece. Chin piece. A waterman. 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 Yeah, you always notice. If I see you it. pick it, you'll see a lot of water springing from the blossom. Okay. It's very it's useful. Eyesight, you know. Black sage. Black, Black sage. sage. Black. It's very useful if you notice the bees following it. Mm -hmm. Bees always tend to follow certain blossom to make their honey. Whatever they eat, that's what they use to make their honey. Okay. And this is the black sage. It's very useful. Mm -hmm. You could use it to make tea for any little complaint that you have. The black sage again, Sophie. It's, it's, good, it's, good, for, it's good for prostate and it's good for gonorrhea. Okay, good, good, good. All right, black, black sage. Yeah. Detox. Okay, it's a cleanser. Just clean the blood. Yes. What have I leave? Anything you have in your body. Even good for your eyesight if you're having eye problem and mm. so on. Mm. You could drink some guava tea. Okay. Depend on how age group yeah. if you are as young as me yeah. <laughs> which age is just a number <laughs> you could just simply use like four leaf depend on the size or uh, upward to seven leaf if you pass my age and going up like about 60 65 years old you could use like seven leaf Boil Younger country. children under 20, they could just do three leaves. Boil it and drink it. We are over in West Milan where I am today, but you know I Hanover. am from... Sorry, <laughs> Anova. <laughs> but I am from Chilorni. Yeah. We call it the velvet. Yeah. If you look at the back of it, it looks like a velvet material. Okay. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. But over this side, it doesn't look like this. Yeah. But this area call it the no. bar, bar bush, but we call it in Chilorni the velvet. Velvet, alright. Very useful. Hi, Biscuits as well, guys. Hi, Biscuits is another. We call it shoe black. Shoe black. Just like sorrel, again, loaded, loaded uh, with medicinal properties. Hi, Biscuits. Oh, tongue. Yeah, it's good for tonic. Tonic. They yeah. use it to build. When tannic. they make it tonic, you just put two cow tongue in there. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. So yeah. it's a builder. Yeah. Powerful builder. Body builder. The roots tonic, you're cleaning and you're building at the same time. Okay. So okay. you're getting rid really of the waste matter. Alright, this one. This one. Put it on. Okay. Yeah. This one. Has to this one, you say what? Rabbit, rabbit yeah. butter. Rabbit butter. Yeah. Which is what? This one? All right, so rabbit butter, plus some white. Oh yeah, plus some white. It's good for black cube, so that's female stuff. In infertility. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Infertile situations and stuff. Black cube. All right, guys. So this is again. That is um, rabbit butter. <laughs> and this one now. This one now. Couscous. All right, and this. This very really good. This, this is the couscous I use to make the perfume. Yeah. So, so how do they do it? Oh, the root. All right, guys. So this is the couscous, and I'm learning that this is the root of it is what is used to make perfume. Remember couscous perfume? I'm trying to pull it, but it's a little hard to get out. So let's, let me. All right. So this is the couscous. All right. I pull one. I'm gonna try and smell it. Today's no perfume tonight. <laughs> That smell unusual. No, it smell like rasta, so you dry it with hot water. Oh, oh, yeah. dry it with the hot water. Yeah. And not to get the perfume. Yeah. <laughs> rasta. Okay. All right, Rasta. Yeah. So this is the green. The red one. The red, okay, so this is the green water grass. Green water grass here, guys. All right. We Hopefully we'll find some red ones. So we mostly use the red, red ones one for medical use. Medical use, all right. Gully bean, but Otherwise, but I know it has sasumba. Sasumba. Alright, so what's the sumba good for bone? 
like if you have you could use the fruit from it to stir fry with salt fish tomatoes carrots onions and so on but the medical use if you are having blood problem like persons you have sickle cells and so on and rash and, rash and so on you could use that to make a cup of tea okay good good good, good, good. yes leaf of life and that's the blossom of the leaf of life it's very beautiful you could use it as a decoration at christmas time if you're a person that loves christmas this, yes in a book yes <laughs> this is a traditional oh yes okay herb you could beat this up with some salt and you could take a teaspoon mm. as medicine for any mucus in the body. Mm. We used to use this herb to tell us the time when we're coming from school. Ho, ho. Like, we, we look at the sun and where it locate, and we might spit on the leaf and say, <laughs> if it's x time like said 2 30 or 3 30 and we know we're supposed to get home yeah. before three o'clock mm -hmm. then we spit on it and throw it up in the air and whatever <laughs> side it turned from we say if it's x time you turn on the back uh. or you turn on the front so we use this to <laughs> tell the time when we are coming from school all says. right all right <laughs> All right. Uh, so when you, can you know, all right, guys. phone and watch wasn't so popular. Yes. And coming so from you usually work? Background. It work or is it just a, a little? Yes. Because <laughs> remember, believe, kill, and, and believe, believe cure. cure. So all right. you know when we linger on the road, yeah. what time we should get home. And yeah. you know, mother always looking out for their children. Yeah. When it is time for them to get home and they don't see them, they just come out the yard gate and start looking out yeah. with their switch behind. <laughs> normally used to use the packy uh -huh. to plat uh -huh. and where we don't want to get any beaten and to put the stone on it yeah. so we have things that we use as a traditional yeah. Yeah, yeah, things yeah. to get home <laughs> school and when they reach school you just yeah. you plat one grass road wait man and the same one she mentioned to yes. you <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so guys, now you know about the platinum of the grass, too. Let me know. I'm interested in that. Paki. That's a paki. It's called the dog tongue. Okay, the dog tongue. Cool, okay. cool, cool. Alright, good. The Dranker bead tree. It has two different types of Dranker bead. One is flat and red, and the other one has a small little black on it, which is kind of a bit round. Mm -hmm. Most people use it to make like necklaces and okay. so on and hopefully we find some junker beads i hope so too all right that good. i could illustrate on it more okay all right good this is now is search my heart search my heart search yes. my heart search my heart guys freshly picked search my heart love it they look nice they look nice so they put them good for guppy we for drinking purpose good for appetite appetite you yeah. want to open your appetite yeah Wow, you have to be careful about what you drink right? yeah this is another firm different firm what is this what is this now this is a black firm Black fern. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. He used it like uh, just the ears and you push it through. Oh, decoration. Uh, yeah. Oh, so like um. Like my ears. Uh, beauty stuff. Yeah. So you use it to, mm -hmm. to bore your ear. You bore it and then after put it in. Oh, you after it, you bore it, your ears. You put it inside. You put it in there. And let it stay in here and make it better. Really. Oh, so this kind of heal of the ear. Yeah, the ear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's the name yeah. of it again? Black fern. Black fern. Yeah. Good. Solid. Solid learning, guys. Solid learning. Now that's it. Black fern. And this is the search me hard. Yeah. Powerful, powerful. This is called fasten pan coat. Fasten pan coat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's only a button for you. <laughs> yes, if you walk through this area where these bush plants are grown while well, they tend to fasten on your clothes very easily. Okay. So you bounce it like this. All and right. it fast upon your clothes yeah. they call fast upon coat it's very good for mucus mm. but i noticed by this area there are a lot of herbs that are good for mucus this side so i don't think anyone around this corner that aware of these herbs in their area yeah. could ever bypass them yeah. i think they could make this very useful and teach other people around them with all these mucus herbs because mucus is a thing that captured our whole body 
information. And it doesn't matter who it is. Mm. It does but take over, but by intaking these herbs, you can get rid of all. So, so my hand, which is the thing here, it says inflammation, really. Inflammation and right. mucus. Some kind Cold. Of thing. Okay. Any little thing. All right. So right. the name again? Fast Fan Coat. If you all know any other name for this herb, you could. Yes, I like me because this is the name I know right now. Alright, perfect, perfect, okay, perfect. Then. And this is this I know for a fact is Guinep. Yeah. A young Guinep tree. No Guinep at the time, it's not quite deceiving yet, but that's a young Guinep tree. And this is the cocoa. Cocoa. And there's one on the tree, guys. Cocoa. Cocoa tree. So we use it to make chocolate. Old time Jamaican chocolate. There's a link in the description below on chocolate making. Check that out as well. So that's cocoa. Used to make chocolate. That's a ripe one. That's a green one here. All right. Then an almond tree, a huge one. <laughs> almond, almond. Let me see if I find any under the tree here. Uh, I have a video on almond as well. It's in. There's a link in the description below. Let me see if I find any any dried almonds under here. I don't see any. That's an almond leaf, dried leaf, but no, not quite, no almond at this time. So there you go, almond guys. All right, now this is? This is, this one good for light liver spot mm -hmm. on your skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, king of the forest, you call this one. King of the forest? Yeah. Yeah, man, powerful bush too. Yeah. So see, it's a liver spot and? Yeah. Okay. All right, so you drink it as well and boil yeah. and drink? Yeah, rub on your skin. Rub on your skin, okay, yeah. okay. All right. Oh, there's another one over here, guys. All right, good. Let me see if I capture that. There you go. Um, King of the forest. Oh, uh, there's a black giant here. Yeah, here's one. Yeah, black, the fine one. Yeah, black giant. Black giant. Good for what again, Bones? Eh? Black tubes. Black tubes. There's a fertility bush. Yes, black tubes and stuff like that. Menstrual problems, cramps. So okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Hormone issues. issues. We're not gonna ignore the banana. We're just sharing that with you. Banana, guys. That's banana, that's breadfruit. Oh, we said something about the breadfruit leaf. The breadfruit is good for pressure. Breadfruit leaf is good for pressure. So that's yeah. a breadfruit tree there, guys. Breadfruit tree. Good for pressure. Alright. And the banana. And the banana, you know you get iron from the banana. Yes, yes. So banana you, fruit itself. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The green one you get the fruit from. Mm. You get the iron from, but you know the ripe banana, you get potassium. Okay. So the ripe banana is good. Uh. Likewise, the green banana. Uh. In the banana world, every banana <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody is good. Be good. Coconut right. as well. Jelly cool down, jelly, jelly. jelly. You know, this cool down. That's the only water they said cleanse the heart. So if you have a bad heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a fun one. All right. If you have a bad heart and you get want to wash it off, yeah, just get a use jelly. the jelly. All right. You can use the jelly with <laughs> limes mm. to do like pressure, hypertension. You use the jelly with lime. Uh -huh. Or you drink yeah. the jelly just like that. Uh -huh. Or you could even use the jelly water to wash your head. Okay. If your pressure is very high, yeah. you intake medicine in natural causes like washing your hair and you could drink in it. Mm. That it helps cool your head down. Okay, good, good. Um, so when we say jelly, it's the same coconut, guys. In here, locally, we call it jelly. It's a young coconut or younger coconut. Yeah. The water of the coconut. That's what that's what we call it, jelly. Dry uh -huh. coconut, then you could use it to make coconut oils, uh -huh. natural coconut oil for food kind or for external use mm. on your hair, on your skin. Mm. That helps your skin to be soft and mild mm. and so on. Good. And you Good. could use Good. the yes. coconut fruit to make coconut cake, coconut drops, coconut gizzard, coconut <laughs> chips, anything you want to make. Anything your coconut. coconut. Those are coconut. Even your coconut right now. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. And uh, and also, and I see, I see here we have... Uh, Star apple. No, star apple doesn't fall. That's the meanest fruit. The meanest one fruit. Of. <laughs> one of the meanest fruit. Yeah. All right. And it, it ripe. doesn't drop. No it matter ripe, how dry or yeah, ripe. ripe it is, it never drops from the tree. You have to <laughs> fight to get it. <laughs> All right. It's very useful. That's how you get your vitamin C, which yeah. you know does not store it in the body. Yeah, yeah. And it needs replacement every day. Every day. All right. Custard, not custard apple. Um, star, apple. star apple, guys. Star apple. That's plum. 
the June plum tree there and the more breadfruit. There's an ackee tree there. I want the yam there. The yam there over here, right in front of the banana yam vine. So we're gonna capture some more as we go along. All right, so this is what now? All right, this is our fruits. Yes, star fruits. Star fruit again, jimbilin. Jimbilin. Jimbilin, star fruit. Yeah, see how big on. Yes. All right, good, 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 good. good. So this is star fruit. Star fruit, guys. All right, so we're running to another star fruit tree. Misha enjoying herself. Say hi to the world, Misha. <laughs> Hi world. <laughs> Hi world. All right, this is how we do it here in Jamaica, guys. Came at the old house here, the old family house, and find a jimbling tree. Look at the amount of it on here. My God, star fruit. All right, good blend with ginger. You don't want it to finish. Look at that. Whoa. All right. Look at salt. So, all right, so this is what now? The guinea hen. The guinea hen, good for what now, Sir Duppy? Good for headache. Mm -hmm. Good for drinking purpose. Mm -hmm. Maybe anything has come across. It's, good for, it's a powerful book. It's good for all purpose. All purpose. I know you remember, remember when I said, boy, Alicia, when I would say, what do you call him? The crowbait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the skinny hen is good for the crowbait. Who you call the crowbait? The Carola, the yeah. Carola. I mean, you don't like calling name, you know, the call for you. <laughs> the crow beat. All right, oh, Guinea yeah. hen guys, good for Corona. That's yeah. what the third doctor said. Boil with the turmeric, the ginger, and the garlic. Boil with the turmeric, the ginger, and the garlic. Yeah. All right, that's the remedy for Corona. Yeah. So here again, guys, is the, is the, um, the, uh, gui Guinea hen. Yeah. Stink. <laughs> A really strong aroma. Man, when it's green, this is it. All right, so we're eating and working. Just had some star fruit. That's a pimento tree in the distance. The one behind the banana tree. Just blooming. All right. Oh, All spice, man. One of the most powerful products. Uh, one of the most versatile products. Uh, the secret ingredient in Jamaican jerk as well. Link in the description below. Uh, more about pimento. We actually have a complete video on pimento. Check that out, link in the description. All right, so this one, what, what, what are you good for though? It's good for cleansing purpose. Cleansing, okay, yeah. okay. But you don't remember the name of it? I don't remember the name of it. Let me see if I can capture it and ask. All right, guys, so if you know this one, share, share this one with us. Um, don't you remember it, he can't remember the name. He knows it, but he can't remember the name of it, right? Grows, this one grew probably about eight to 10 feet, right? So we got it here, got it about eight to 10 feet. Just tell us what, what you think, what you know of it as well, all right? Young pimento plant, young pimento tree, young pimento tree growing up. Acres and acres of bamboo. So we're in Riley Pens, guys, and man, I've never seen so many bamboo on my way up here. Bamboo tree galore. We have so much here in Jamaica, man. I think we can make a total industry of just the bamboo alone, you know. Look at that. Bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. And they are huge. Here we have now the turmeric. Turmeric, this is turmeric. That's the turmeric. All right, growing at the back of the yard here. What turmeric good for now? It's a cleanser as well, right? Good for inflammation, I know. A doctor yeah, told me. For curry in and all those. Yeah, how you use it to make curry? Yeah. I'm gonna pull it out. Just a demonstration. Ah, there you go. Turmeric, guys. Turmeric, turmeric. Lovely, lovely. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. See turmeric. I'll give you this one. So it's a rhizome, I think we call it, back in school days. And this is what now? Orange? Yeah. Orange. Yeah. Is orange also orange, Duppy? Yeah. Orange, orange. Okay, so orange here, guys. Orange tree, loving it. The orange here. Alright. Gongo peas. Tall man. <laughs> Gongo peas. Gongo peas, guys. Red gungo. Yeah, red one. Nice, nice, one nice. On the, uh, the Alright, good, good. Make the water yeah. block. Yeah, yeah man, it's pretty. Yeah, Alright. Nice yeah, yeah, nice. Very nice red gungo. Mm -hmm. Special kind of gungo, man. <laughs> Special kind of gungo. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys, gungo again. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about the basida last time in the previous video. Yeah. Basida is good. For, is a fertility bush again. Yeah. Fertility bush. The bark, the leaves. 
Everything about it, you said, right? And the berry, what is beer? And the berry, beer, yeah, good, good, good. For, uh, fertility, but see that, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, I know we're in a community. It's getting a little late. We're in a community called Medley. Medley? Yeah. Medley. And there's a, a natural water supply here. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Also, oh, they put a pipe. Yeah. There's an underground water. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. We'll catch some there. It's like, it's, like, it's like a spring head or something. Yeah, it's like a spring head. River head or spring. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's coming from the hill. Yeah. Ah, cool, 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 cool. Ah. 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 All right. So we're in Askinish in Anova. We're moving across. And up in the distance, there is what is called the Dolphin Head Mountain. Dolphin Head Mountain. This one now is Ram Goat. Ram Goat. Ram Goat. Regular. Ram Goat. Dashalang. Yeah. Uh, I know they call it Damiana in other parts of the world. Coal bush. Good coal, good coal bush cleanser again. Guys, inflammation. Oh my, well, what is this? Something good? Pien coco. Pien coco? Yeah. Pien coco? Yeah. So you, 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 you can't eat? You use it as a oh. fish pot. Yeah. So fi okay, so you use this as a fish pot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so there's some guava here. It's like there's a guava. There's a guava tree yeah. further up. No, that's an almond. Uh, sorry, almond. Yeah, man. Thanks. <laughs> The almond here, guys, seem as if there's an almond tree. There's a little channel here. You can see where water runs from the hills. Apparently there's a gua there's an almond tree somewhere up there. So it wash the almond down to the side here. Lovely. Alright, so this is sage. 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 Okay, and it's used as an incense. Okay, not not in food. To, to make tea, okay, okay, okay. So this is the same over. If you go online and check for sage, is the same sage, everybody. Yeah. Okay. White sage. White sage. Okay. Pink sage and orange sage. Ah. Oh. The orange sage. All right, great. And this is the blossom of the sage. The orange sage. The orange sage. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So is it is it is it blossom that give it the name? Because of the, the different varieties. Oh, okay, sage. good, good. Sage. All right, good, good. All right, guys, and we have more duck flower this trip again. Another nice, beautiful. Which community is this again? Askinish. Askinish. More duck flower growing wild. Duck flower, we said again, is a powerful detox. All right, so we didn't want to, we didn't want to lose the opportunity to capture duck flower. Another time, duck flower, my ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Madam Fate, otherwise called Shepherd Purse. All right, Shepherd Purse. It has a smell. Let me check it. Not really. Yeah. Oh, not really. Okay. First time, oh. old time, traditional saying. Mm. If you went to Riverside mm. and you see it and you call the name, it disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. People use it for other use. Okay. All right, guys. If you know that one, this what do you call it again? Shepherd purse. Shepherd purse. If you know it, um, if you know it, and Madam use, Fate. Madam Fate. Yeah, tell us again. Uh, it's good. It's good. That, I mean, I would love for us to learn. We learn from each other. All right. This is what now? Two stick. We call it. Two stick. Yeah. So this is the, this is the, the one they all they used to use in the bush yeah. back in the days yeah. to brush teeth. Yeah. So this is the true stick. Yeah. All right, true stick guys. So here's the shepherd purse again. Shepherd purse. Shepherd's purse. So that's a touch plant. Junker bead. And this is just for, usually for ornamentation purpose. Use the bead for decoration, eh? Necklace and stuff like that. So these are the beads, guys. Remember it? Some of you should remember the beads. <laughs> this is the bead, the junker bead. All right. All right. So this is the raw moon. In the hills of the dolphin here, guys. Ramoon. So what you do with it? It's the leaf. You, you leaf. You the leaf. Yeah. Okay. So Ramoon, guys. Ramoon. Roots That's drink. Good. All right. <laughs> good. good for stamina for men, in particular. 
trumpet leaf, guys. Trumpet leaf. We're trying to find a green one, but this is what it looks like when it's dried. Black green one. Fine one. Good for black tubes. Black tubes and what? Pressure, mm. sugar, and so on. Okay. And people use it for many other different use. One herb good for more than one use. Trumpet leaf, guys. Right. All right. Good. And this is a green. This is the trumpet leaf, what guys? The green, the green, uh, green, green version. All right, trumpet leaf. Okay, so Sir Glenn believes that there is um, chain root somewhere in the hill of the dolphins here. I'm gonna try and find it. Uh, I'm gonna see if I find it. All right, guys, so we came hunting for chain root and Sir Glenn never give up until we think we find one. But this is chain root. Chain root, this is a vine. Grows like a, a yam, a yam vine. Like yellow yam. Right? Yeah, like yellow yam. Yeah, so it's tough. All right, good. This is a chain root, guys, from the dolphin head in Hanover. Alright, so it's a little bit young. Yes. A little bit young. Alright. This is it. This is the chain root. Alright, this is the chain root. It's a younger one. Uh, oh, the chain root good for Duffy. Good for box, stamina. The builder. Yeah. Builder. Alright. So chain root, guys. Chain root, chain root, chain root. Wow, wow, wow. There you go, guys. Medicinal herbs of Jamaica. I'm now in the dolphin head. A dolphin head in Hanover. That's where we got the last set of herbs. Really enjoyed the tour. Thanks again to Bones and Duffy for, the ex for sharing the knowledge. And Sir Glenn as well and his wife. I mean, I really, really appreciate it. I wanted to share with you 50 medicinal herbs. And I think we got just about that amount. Just about. So this is a view uh, of the dolphin. Magnificent dolphin here in Hanover. In, yeah. Dolphin head. Dolphin head, guys. Hanover. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, share a comment down below. And remember, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell notification. That way, you stay updated on all my latest videos. This is indeed real Jamaica.